Okay, guys, this next section, um, just right before we get started, don't forget to save. I uh, should have told you that a little bit earlier. And also, make sure you save what it is, uh, Stephen Curry, Vectorized Retrace, Rotoscope. So rotoscope is a pretty common term that I think the movie industry uses. Uh, if you've ever seen the movie Scanner Darkly, uh, what they did was they went into actually each frame that they shot with a, a camera and they went back and they rotoscoped or they retraced um, to give it that illustration look. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie, check it out. I believe it is R-rated, um, but there's probably a, a trailer you can watch just to get the idea. Uh, anyways, here we go again. Okay, so I, I enhanced my details in the, uh, the detail layer. And my last video, we start to add some color or just some background face image. Uh, but what I want to show you guys next is this cool effect. Now, you guys have seen this uh, online or in art books, um, but this, there we go. This makes me think of Lenny Kravitz some reason. It's just got that feel to it, that really cool, kind of psychedelic, and colors are pretty awesome. So you can see what they've done here. So we're going to try and replicate that effect. Now this is a, a kind of a Photoshop posterize effect. Now we're creating an illustrator. So uh, this is where it gets a little tricky. I'm going to actually scale that down. Just zoom in because now we kind of have to imagine the layers or the sub layers in the space. So now we've gone from creating just the details to uh, starting with the color. So, okay, we're going to enhance that layer here, the skin layer. And I'll use this as my reference. So we'll draw from the outside in. Uh, it is a slow process, so take your time. Um, and there will be mistakes, and outlining everything for now is fine. So I'm just going to unlock that layer. I'm actually going to lock the detail layer now. And the hair we'll get to later, even if we do get to for this tutorial. I'll come back to that. So now what I'm working on is from the outside in. So you're working from the dark, the darkest, or the, the detail layer, and then from the outside of the face, probably want to start in the next shade. So this is where you can improvise a little bit. So last tutorial talked about sampling colors. Well now you can actually add your own effects and see how that turns out. Um, again, if you want to make, oh, where did we put that layer here? I must have put that into there. So I'm just going, going to like this. I'll put a reference into the um, to the folder so you guys can go and download that. Um, anyways, let's make that even smaller. Make sure it's in the right order. And you can put that right beside the image. Okay. It's okay to do this. I mean, this is what Illustrator was designed for us to, to help you maximize you know, some people think, well, if I'm doing it right beside it, it's not true art, but it is. It's just a faster way. It's it's an easier way to do things. Um, okay, so let's work from the outside in. So originally, I had colorized the face, this this skin tone, but I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Okay, so I'm just going to that dark color. going to use these colors in this image to try to duplicate this effect. Okay. So now, how do you do that? How do you do that? Well, let's just try some stuff out here. Let's go back to the original. 
create some shapes. Let's create some highlight shapes. So let's let's call this highlight layer. Okay. Creating this layer. And again, I'm going to go back to the width. Okay. Make that a 0.15 stroke. Oops. Now, if you're not happy with the color, I can't see that. I can't see that yellow. So I'm actually going to change that. I'm not sure how to do that right here. There we go. Okay, there's a way to do that somewhere. Oh, there we go. I don't even know what I clicked on. Let's just change that to darker border. And now I can actually see. There we go. Now I can actually see my, my outline. So that's all I was trying to do. So now I'm going to create highlight shapes. See how this turns out. Again, uh, you don't really know until you bring up the final layers together so just trust me with this and even for myself I'm kind of guessing a little bit right now but I'm going after the the highlight areas it's all the bright light areas so let's see what that does so we're going to select that and we'll actually bring that in front of our skin and we'll open up our skin layer. Let's go and sample again in that color or whatever color. I mean, you can go right back to the original. Let's go back now. That's pretty good. Now, if you see this image, they've got colors for the lips. Um, lips are always challenging because on a guy, if you go too pink, it, you know, um, so you got to kind of either exaggerate or, or make it up as you go. So let's try some stuff out here. I'm going to turn off that skin layer again so I can see. I'm going to stay in my highlight layer. So I'm not using too, too many layers here. this I can just draw the outline shape because I've already created the details inside uh, so let's go back to that okay and I'm going to exaggerate again uh, I'm gonna pick my own color for the lips let's go with uh, blue for now just so you guys can see the difference bring up the reference and I like that that mid-tone color there so I'm actually gonna sample that nope it doesn't work when you click just click again and that's really red but let's see what's happening here so let's bring our details back and it's starting to look like something There. So let's fiddle around with the colors a little bit. I know this looks <laughs> pretty odd, but we're going to make this happen. Okay. 
these shapes again. Let's try to get a better color reference. Lips. Let's just try to make it something like that. So get that that color. I know we'll we'll come back to that in a bit. Okay, so we've got the highlights, we've got the details. Now we got to figure out how to bring it all together. So uh, let's try this. Let's go create one more layer. Put that down there. And. This, whoops, just put this paragraph. I'm zooming out so I can kind of see everything here. Put that down there. Put it underneath. And let's try that out and just pick a bit of a darker. So you can see how that comes along. And then you can actually just merge those shapes, draw inside of them. Let's try something like that. Again, this is more getting into the artistic side of things where Try something that didn't work. We're gonna try this effect. Let's see if this is better. Okay, come on. Let's get the tone that I want here. Let's go with the sunrise. Let's come in here. Don't be afraid to delete shapes that you think just aren't going to work. Go to the front. And let's just go in the front there. Get that lighter tone in. Does that every time, but come on. You know, you can always try to take the black out of a shape or take some of those swatches as well. I'm going to get rid of this undertone shape here. Okay. Where's that? Oh, it's just in the detail one. There we go. Unlock. Okay, guys, so I'm going to let you guys take it over from here. I think you've got enough to get going. Uh, you can create some psychedelic colors. Again, it's going to depend on angle of your shot. Uh, perspective. I mean, you could start drawing in the body. Play around to it a little bit. But they 
ellos. 